and welcome back. I am Laura from Lola Annabelle and we are continuing on with this road engine painting. So we're going to get started with that and we're going to talk science today. Um, I decided to take a break from dragons. I saw some cool science things happen in the last couple of weeks that we might talk about. I hope everyone had a lovely Thanksgiving. We um, stayed home. And it was the three of us, so it was lovely. And I hope you all are enjoying your post Thanksgiving weekend, getting ready for Christmas, if that's what you celebrate. So let's get started on here. So I will leave the Instagram post up here um, for a little bit, just so you know what I captured. Um, I, fall, I started following a couple of science accounts. So we're talking about the duckbill dinosaur and the, oh I'm going to pronounce this wrong and we will leave the name up as always, is the Anibia Odysseus. So alright I am going to put a flower roughly in this position. So. Anyway, it was about 66 million years ago. At a point here. It's not going to matter in the end. Mascani of the late Cretaceous area. So it was the eight. It was an age in the Cretaceous area, and it was the member of the also cute story. I have a toddler, and he's such a good little helper. And I had everything set up, and my paints are over where you can't see them, right beyond the camera. And he's like, I know where mom's paints go, I'm going to put them up. So everything got a little discombobulated with him. But I'm not going to tell him to put things away. I can pull them back out. Right? So, um, and so, a member of the Hydrosaurus family, it's a large family of planting dinosaurs. I think Ducky from oh, what's the Land of the Lost Dinosaurs? I haven't seen that movie in a long time. Um, they're about 15 meters long or 50, ugh, 50 feet long or 50 feet for us American. I might have mentioned this in other videos a couple weeks ago. This is nerve wracking to me. I want to get in there and make sure it's right. So, and you can't even see the white. Yeah, see it right here. So, the we're just going to call them the duckbill dinosaurs. I'm, um, they were common in the end of the dinosaur era. Era. And, you know, they're plant eating dinosaurs. So the reason why were they're called duck build, um, they had bones um, that flattened to give them the duck-like appearance. Okay, right, so think ducky. Ducky was always cute. Although I was fan of the Triceratops in that movie. Sarah, I think, maybe? They were common in North America um, and your Asia, so we're going into the land masses here soon too. Because there's two continents. Because <laughs> continents have moved. <laughs> As you probably all have learned. Um, and they, you know, evolved and they moved across North America, Europe, and Asia. And they explained by the continents at the time. Yeah, you can start saying that. Well, it just makes things a little easier at times, so. So the exciting thing, the reason why we're talking about this, is they were found in Africa, near Morocco, suggesting that they s swam a great long distance. Exciting! We like exciting. Europe was a isolated continent at the time of the Cretaceous. You get to see me struggle here a little bit. I want to use gray next to get some of this shading done because it's going out like 
Rhododendrons are a ball flower, flower like hydrangeas. So although they have like kind of individual blossom, like within the ball, they're a ball. <laughs> they're a clump of flowers. And that's what we're working on. Okay. Like this one. This one that's scary. This one I could do. This one, we're getting scary territory. Welcome to Off Topic with Lara. Maybe that's what we should name this. Where Lara finds something cool, but maybe talks about it, maybe doesn't. Okay. Um, and there was deep seaway, so it wasn't like they. The scientists and it said that like there's no, there was no visible land bridge that they know of. So they're like saying like deep sea waste between Europe and Africa at the time. So hundreds of kilometers you know, of, of open water. Also, that's very pretty for these dinosaurs. So they're like, you know, they swim but maybe they float or like use debris to cross the oceans um, to colonize into the new continent. The lead, or one of the lead um, paleontologist scientists, Nicholas Longridge at the University of Bath in the UK, stated that as the best that we can tell, dinosaurs swam across the ocean barriers. So, we're, we're going to hear a little more about it from him later on. I might just be talking to him directly for a hot minute while this dries. Okay, so they're suggesting like, with the bone structures and what they think had its sources were um, most likely very powerful, strong. Oh, this dress, we're just gonna talk dinosaurs. Also, I mentioned it, I should have put sealer on this prior to because the white's picking up some of the background. Not fun! Large tail with powerful legs. Um, they are often, um, they've been found in rivers and um, like like the river deposits and marine rocks. So they knew they swam. Which is kind of pretty. Duck swim. <laughs> Hi. Um, so he also said that it was impossible, like I said, they impossible for them to walk to Africa. No visible land bridges that scientists are aware of. Um, they say this because we're learning new things from our world every day. Be kind. So, he also said that these dinosaurs evolved long after, continental, after the continental drifts split the continents. We have no evidence of land bridges. Um, the geology tells us that Africa was in the ice, isolated by oceans, and if so, if so, the way to get there by water. So these two continents, so Europe and North America were part of Laurasia. I should be able to pronounce that, it has their name in it, but Laurasia. And the second continent um, was known as Gondwana. It was Africa and South America that were, pre that they drifted away from Laurasia. Get more about longer to, um, his team a little bit. I might just finish up this video. And I'll see you guys on Thursday as we continue on with painting this because it's wanting to drag a little bit. Acrylics are fast drying, but they do dry, they need dry sometimes, especially when they're playing paint like I am. So, so they longer to his colleagues obtain parts and the upper draw 60 of this the dinosaur is 60 million years old is in Morocco and a phosphate mine um oh gosh I'll leave this up to you guys office Sharon Day phosphate mines at the city of Shenan in Morocco's Kettleberg province. That's a mouthful. I will have left it up there. I hope you guys see it. 
Um, the fossils showed it belonged to the Lambert sign, a subfamily of the Hadosaurus, with its elaborate bony head and head crest. So head crest. Once again, pink ducky. Very cute dinosaurs. Um, the discovery of the new fossil is, is the the oh gosh. This is by Dr. Longridge. The discovery of the new fossils in a mine a few hours from Cal Blackson's was the last thing in the world you expect. Also quoted from him, it was completely out of place like finding a kangaroo in Scotland. Africa was completely isolated by water, so how did they get there? So they donated um, the fossils to the Marik Museum of Natural Hi Histories. Um, so also you can see the ability of some long distances and some animals today. Um, and their findings were published in the Journal of Cretaceous Research. I hope you liked today's video. I tried to make it interesting. Um, like I said, there was a couple of Instagram posts that sparked my interest and I decided to talk about them. And science is intriguing. Like I said, this channel is about whatever I want to talk about, what I find interesting this week, or whatever, and maybe, you know, talking about my life here and there. And if you have any suggestions, um, please link them down below. My Instagram is Lola underscore Annabelle underscore Bell. You can find me there, um, message me there, follow me. If you'd like, um, I haven't been good lately. I'm sorry. And I will see you on Thursday. Bye! things that I'm looking at. <laughs> you probably won't see that. Also, I sneezed. I'm a big sneezer. <laughs> I'm like, I just want to sneeze on camera one so I can see in recording how loud this thing is. Oh gosh, man.